YouTube, how you doing? It's me, Jernigan6, and I'm here today with a, a video that I'm making, um, basically at the request of another YouTuber, um, and this YouTuber is um, <clears throat> pretty much part of the Black Conscious Movement here on YouTube. Um, so for all of my Lot fam that uh, may watch this video, if uh, you're pretty much keeping up with what's going on the uh, in the Black Conscious or the yeah the Black Conscious uh, movement here on YouTube, then you'll probably know what I'm talking about. If not, then um, then this video does not apply to you at all. Of course, YouTube is far and wide, so if you want to check out what's going on and what I'm talking about. All you have to do is uh, type in the names, some of the names that I'm getting ready to mention in this video. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I was requested by um, one of my other YouTube um, subscribers to give my input on a situation that's going on with uh, another YouTuber by the name of Black Indigo. Black Indigo, for those of you who don't know her, is a um, uh, young African American female. She uh, has several hundred videos uh, that she shares on YouTube. She gives insight on the black experience here in America from slavery to modern day. And not only that, um, she also gives her opinion and insight on the black woman's plight here in America as we relate to other races and as we relate to our own race and as we relate to society in general. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this sister has been held on a pedestal by many. That is one thing I don't do. I don't put people on a pedestal because I'm human. I know what I'm capable of. And I know other humans, other human beings are capable of many things that we don't know. Um, that being said, <clears throat> I don't stand in judgment of anybody. I am not one to be in a position to do that. There is nobody here on YouTube who is without sin, who is without fault, or who is without blame in some situation. So, before I get up on a pedestal and look down on someone else, that's, that's totally not where I'm coming from. But I am going to um, answer this brother's question and offer my opinion. Now, um, Black Indigo went to Florida. I guess her business endeavors <coughs> or the job, excuse me, the job that she went out there uh, seeking or with the company that she went with, it just didn't happen. It didn't materialize. So she was left with uh, without a job without money and uh, I think her car broke down so she was left without a job, money, or a car. So in order to make fast money, she answered some ad, some acting ad, and she went and uh, auditioned for this job. She was going to be an extra in some type of film. The film ended up being uh, a porn, a porn film. And her part in it was to touch a man's penis in a uh, in a strip club for a hundred dollars. Now, I can take a hundred dollars right now. I can go get something to eat. I can go probably pay one utility bill, and it's gone. It's gone. Um, uh, $100 today, anybody that's over 30 will know that $100 today is like a $20 bill back in the day. You can't do much with $100. Okay, so, I feel like to go and participate in some type of porn movie on whatever level for $100 is not a fair exchange. I think... When she did that, she basically she did let down the the women, some of the um, some of the younger women, 
who may have really looked up to her. You know, there is to me, I wouldn't say there's no excuse for it, but I will say <clears throat> you could have done something else. You could have done something else. There are so many other ways. I'm telling you, out here in Cali, you want to make money, you go to one of these um, these stores that like an insurance company, and they'll have you, all you do is stand up on the corner and hold their sign. Just wave. They have a big sign, and you just wave their sign. With, do that. They pay you cash. You know, there are certain ways that you can make money without having to do something like that. Uh, now, this is not to say that it discredits any of her prior videos. It does not. Her videos have been helpful. Her videos had a lot of, uh, of good information. And they did direct some people, I'm sure, in a different in a good and positive direction. But... Supposing Martin Luther King said, come on you guys, we're going to go and we're going to do this, uh, you know, this peaceful march. And then when the uh, when they came and they, <laughs> when the police came and holds them down, he turns out and he shoots somebody. So what does that say? It says that you are not, you're, you're not practicing what you're preaching, basically. And <clears throat> I'm not one to get up here and preach to anybody. I'll tell you my opinion about something. I'll tell you my experience about something. If you like it, fine. If you don't like it, fine. But there's all you always have the option to move on. So, and that's what I suggest people do. When you don't like what people do on YouTube, move on and quit bothering them and quit pestering them and quit bullying them and quit harassing them. Now, I don't feel like Black Indigo is being uh, uh, pestered, bullied, or harassed. I think what she's basically doing and what she's receiving is, is the effect of what she did. There's a cause and there's an effect. There's an action and there's a reaction. Your action is that you portrayed yourself to be a certain way. You know, you have told people um, you know the better way of doing of doing things you know the high road and then you go and take the low road and that's where most of the dip disappointment comes in because most people expected more from you young lady really really and I'm sure I don't know um, where your parents are, but I'm sure that they would not be happy to know that this took place. Even though you didn't uh, get physical, you didn't go to the extremes with it, the opportunity for you to do that was there. The opportunity for you to go further than touching that man's penis was there. The opportunity to go way deep into the situation was there. And it kind of makes you wonder, okay, for $100 you do thus and so. But what did $200 and $500 and $1,000 look like? You know, how alluring was that? I am in no way, no way saying, you know, that... Uh, this is something that you would even consider, but it does leave people wondering because you jumped on that $100 really quickly. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, I am really, um, really interested to see what kind of videos um, are made that you make after this. And they, that to Black Indigo. I'm really interested to see what kind of videos you make. For me, if if you felt like you didn't do anything wrong, sometimes the best response is no response. You know? 
if somebody saw you in the club, in a in a club, uh, um, in a strip club, so what? So what? Who hasn't gone to a strip club? I've gone to a strip club. I'm not gonna sit up here and even fake like uh, I'm so holy that oh I've never gone to a strip club and enjoyed myself yes I have but I never told anybody else not to and that's I guess that's what makes that's, that's my point don't tell anybody not to do something or don't portray or don't lead somebody down a path and, and they will definitely try to follow you and then you quickly do a U-turn. You know, that's just something that, that leaves a lot of people baffled, including myself. But um, like I said, your positive, the positive videos were like really, really, really good. You had some really good videos. Really good videos. And all it takes is one one incident, you know, to basically cause this type of scandal. And you know how it is. I've been I've been the target of YouTube crap myself. So, you know, I, I know how you must feel. But the difference is, you know, um, I don't owe anybody any explanations. And some things don't deserve a response. And that's really, that's it. That's my opinion. That's it. In a nutshell. God bless. Talk to y'all later. Peace.